In Excel, you have something called data types. And what it does is that it connects to online data and that connection will bring back rich and interesting information that you can work with and also refresh all the time. For example, you have three different data types that's connected to Bing because it's Microsoft we're working with. And those three are stocks, currencies, and geography. For example, stocks, you can get instant information about stocks, equity, mutual funds, ETFs, and so on. All you need is the stock name. It can be the full name, for example, Microsoft, or the shorter version MSFT. The same goes for currencies. So if you want to know the exchange rate between US dollar and Euro, you can get insights about that in seconds. And here, the currencies are separated either by a slash or a column, and the third data type is geography. Here you can get insights about a country, a city, a state, or other geography types. For example, the city Seattle or the country United States. Let's start to have a look at the stocks. Here we have written Microsoft and MSFT. What you do is that you select these cells, head over to the data tab in the ribbon, and here you find data types. Now we press on stocks and these will be converted into the right Microsoft stock. If you press here on this bottom to the left, you can show the card and have a quick look that it made the right conversion to the right stock. This is very important when you work with geography because you can have the same name for different cities. So I recommend for you to be very specific when you convert it into data types. But this looks all right. What you do next is that you select the cells and here in the top right corner, you will get a new box where you can extract data to the cells to the right. For the stocks data types, you can choose between all of these different insights for example, if you want to know the stock's headquarter, you go down to headquarters and press on it. Now both of these are Microsoft, so we will get the same headquarter. In which industry is Microsoft? Let's have a look. We go down to industry, so it's in software and IT. What's their market cap? Here we go down, scroll down to market cap, and that's a lot, and their PE will be 34. So here you can see that you will get rich information about the stock in just seconds and you can refresh this whenever you want to and then get new fresh information. Let's head over to currencies. Here we have USD to Euro and an Indian Rupee to Australian Dollar. Let's select these cells, head over to the data tab and then select currencies. We can just have a quick look. So it's US Dollar to Euro and it's Indian rupee to Australian dollar. Let's select them both again, head over to this insert data box. And here we can see what we can choose for our currencies data types. And for example, we can choose the last trade time. We can choose the last year's highest value and the price, which means the latest price. That's currencies. Let's head over to geography. We have Seattle and United States. We do the same as before. We go to the data tab, geography. These are Seattle and United States. Let's have a look on what insights you can get from the geography data types. So this is perhaps the most useful one for me at least. And we can, for example, see the area. We can see the population. If we scroll down here, we have population. And also we have a description. If that's the correct description, I leave that for you to decide. But here we have, if we make them bigger, a short description of, for example, Seattle. Let's remove these and have a quick look of the information image. So let's scroll down and find image. You'll see the image of Seattle. I don't know which image that is, but here we have the United States flag. And soon you will be able to transfer these flags to a pivot table as well. That's in the beta channel right now, but soon you'll have it too. And that is data types to connect to Bing and get fresh, rich information in just seconds.